here the next method which we are going to uh, handle the collision is by using of link list right we call it as chaining in the previous linear probing and quadratic probing the problem is uh, once you the first time key when a key is coming it is hashed into the correct place but when the next uh, key generates the same hash address then in the next available memory location it will place and so on so while storing this is one problem but while at searching for a particular element again you have to do the same way uh, when the first time you will be searching that when you are not able to get that value then you go for the next 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 formal location in quadratic probing also the same thing is that you will not be able to store it in the correct location where the key is generated instead you will be storing in the next formal location so in order to avoid all those things the next thing we go for uh, using of linked list for storing this data so in this method an additional field with the data is added that is chain is introduced this method use linked list for storage as hash table so it maintains separate chains of elements which maps to the same hash address when a data item cannot be placed at the hash address calculated by the hash function because of the collision a chain or link is allotted and stored to the key element so for example 31 the value 31 now 31 generates here 0 to 9 so when you divide 31 divided by mod by 10 it generates 1 so this is the place you have to store now you form a link and then you store in there this is a link list your information field you store the data and this is the next field now again 61 you want to store now it hashes to the same place you will not be in the previous case you will be storing in the next memory location now it is not that because of the linked list, now you will be storing as a next data and you make the next location to point to this. So, if 91 comes here only, it will be storing and so on. So, if more of one is generated, it will it will be hashed to the same location and all those things are connected with the linked list. So, here 33 means here 3. So, and so on. So, uh, you are not storing in the next next normal location where again, the search becomes linear, uh, normal linear. But here it has become, uh, you are storing it in a linked list. And in linked list, in this, you will, it may be a linear. Uh, here, if a hash function is generated to 1, then you will be searching only in this chaining. So that's what explained here. So 31 means here, here. Then 33 here and 77 is here. Again, when 61 comes, you will be storing it since it hashes to the same function definitely you have to store it here by connecting it uh, you by creating a linked list and joining with the previous one example another example here yes now see this uh, let us consider this uh, hash table size 7 a simple hash function key mod 7 and sequence of keys is 50 7. these are all the keys now 50 the, let us take the first element 50 mod 7 it generates 1 so first it will be stored here 50 then 707 0 it is stored there 766 mod 7 it is 6 so in 676 is stored so 85 mod 7 is 1 again so now it hashes now it is connected then 927 again it will be connected like this so all the one which are having the has address one they are all connected like this then 73 mod 7 it is 3 so here you put then 107 mod 7 is 3 again now it will be so it will be like this 3 the one which has the hash address 3 will be connected like this so this is one way a better way of handling the collision but the it ha it has its own disadvantage which is nothing but using of pointers more uh, space is needed for storing the pointers value advantage is simple to implement and hash table never fills up it is never filling up suppose you don't want to store the data if you if you don't have any data into it will never fill up it you keep on increasing the link list so uh, it, there is no problem see even if you have only seven uh, this uh, elements uh, the one which has a the last element may be 0, 1, 2, 3. So, if you, even if you have up to 9, you have only 0 to 9 has it. It never fills because you fill up sideways using the 
link list. So you keep on increasing. That's the main thing. So hash table never fills up. You can always add more elements to the chain. Less sensitive to the hash function or load factor. Yes. Uh, even if the same hash function is reduced, they can be managed by using of link list. So it is mostly used when it is unknown how many and how frequently keys may be inserted. So that even if it keeps the data keeps coming, this will be able to handle. Whereas in the previous cases, only seven elements are there in an array means only seven elements you can sort. If an eighth element or ninth element comes, you cannot insert. Whereas that can be avoided, that is can be managed very well here. Even if the number of uh, see here, even if the number of elements zero to six only, you can keep adding. Even there, even hundred elements comes, you will be able to manage with this. Disadvantage: catch performance of chaining is not good. Here, the chaining is uh, uh, because of this catch performance is not good. Uh, open addressing provides better catch performance because when you uh, store this to the catch memory, the li link list may be lost, so that you will be losing the data. You will not be able to get the next next data. So that uh, for catch management, this is not a good idea. Uh, then wastage of space because of some parts of the hash table may never be used. That is because here uh, the one which hashes to five, four, three, it may not be there. In that case, these are all wastage. So if the chain becomes long, then search term can become order of n. What do you mean by chain becomes long? Say for example, the one with the key one, there are so many elements, 100 elements are there. Then uh, with has the hash function one, then you will be homing 100 linked lists, which means Links will be 100 links will be there in the same one. Then you have to search. Suppose I have to search 50th element. Mean, then since it is a link list, you have to move from one element to next element. There you cannot search like an array where direct index is not possible here. So worst case is uh, order of n is the worst case. It uses extra space for the links. Definitely the pointers will take more space. So that's what we have seen in this also. Just uh, comparison between the chaining and open addressing. Chaining is simpler. Open addressing requires more computations, like a linear probing, quadratic probing, some other probing also you can adopt. In chaining, hash table never fills up. We can always add more elements to chain. No open addressing, table may become full. Chaining is less sensitive to the hash function or load factors, whereas here it requires extra care for to avoid clustering and load factor. Chaining is mostly used when it is unknown. How many are, how frequently keys, because it in a dynamic addition is possible the link list whereas here you, you should know how many elements will come and what frequency so it is used when the frequency number of keys is known you, when you already know this is the frequency of the data arrival and number of keys to be generated then you can go for open addressing here unknown factor uh, here chaining can be used dynamically catch performance of chaining is not good as keys are stored using link list is the link list also has to be stored in the uh, because and since they are using memory reference, they are very sensitive to that. That is why uh, it may not be it may not perform well in catch. Whereas open addressing provides better catch performance. Everything is stored in the same table, continuous location, so it will be very much preferable for catch. Wastage of space is yes. in open addressing, a slot can be used even if an input doesn't map to it. Yes, next next location you will be using. So it is. it can be used. So there is not much uh, space is wasted. Chaining uses extra space for links. No links in open addressing.